In this video, I'm going to quickly go over a trick in doing MIDI looping live. Now, when I'm trying to do some live type of looping in my set, I kind of find it hard the way that Ableton Live works to create that live looping. In other words, so that I can write some type of MIDI pattern, and then instantly loop it and keep the time. So this is a really cool trick on how to do it. The first thing you're going to need is called the Bohm's MIDI Translator Classic. Now, if you just Google this, you'll find the website, and I also have the link below. And with this, you can basically have any incoming signal, and you can set where this is coming from what controller, and then create an outgoing action. Now, this is really awesome because what you can do is have your controller, either your keyboard or anything else, um, now make keystrokes such as move right, move left, uh, up and down, and enter. And that's how I do this trick. So basically, the way that live works is if you use your keyboard up and down, you can help navigate through your different tracks and scenes. And if you press enter, it's going to record and stop it and play it as well. So with this trick, I'm using a MIDI controller with this MIDI translator. So now, here just using the controller, I can go up and down. And if I press enter, it's going to start recording. And if I press enter again, whatever this setting up here is, your global quantization, it'll restart it. And then I can go down to the next one, write, write my next line. And it's gonna always be kept in time. You can also just use this basic trick to do all sorts of interesting type of routing with keystrokes. Using Ableton quick keys, different commands, and things like that all connect to your controller. This MIDI translator classic is a super valuable thing in my production. I highly suggest checking it out. So with this, you can also have multiple different tracks and layers. Move over to the next. Uh, with the controller, you can also have the arm button. But in this case, I'll just use my mouse. So now that that one's armed, I can again go to the controller, press uh, whatever I said is the, the enter. And then have that one playing, navigate over with the controller to the next one, and so on. So with this, you can do all sorts of different tricks and have fun experimenting and playing with it. And check out the article for more in-depth on step-by-step -step on how I do this in terms of installing it and things like that. But just knowing this MIDI translator and what you can do with it is the start.